Richie Port is now another cyclist that's going to be out of the Tour de France 2017. He was um, coming down uh, Mont de Chat, which is near the Swiss border. Um, as he was descending, I think it was around 70 kilometers an hour, he has veered like onto a grassy verge and just basically completely wiped across the course and taken out Daniel Martin and basically crashed into a rock face. So this is the actual moment that it happened. So Richie Port suffered shoulder and pelvis injuries and obviously it's going to be devastating for him because he was on top form after winning Tour Down Under early this year so yeah not great for him so that's now Peter Sagan, Mark Cavendish, Richie Port all out of the Tour de France. The ASO are now under scrutiny because people are asking questions you know why was the end of the race not at the top of the climb why did they allow such a dangerous descent to be part of the, um, of the, part of the route and I want to know what your thoughts are about it. Is this um, fault of the organisers? Is it a fault of the cyclists not, you know, going too fast? Is it too dangerous? Or is it just that is just what happens with pro-level cycling that crashes are going to happen and it is that risk that you take if you do get involved? Let me know your thoughts below and I'll see you next video.